this is Lauren from Daisy Cottage Designs and today I'm here with a tutorial for you on the Suzette stitch. Um, that's the stitch that I've used on this swatch in front of me and when I make swatches, I've told you before, I think I really like to make dish claws because they're useful and then my swatches don't just end up in some pile of random crochet stuff. So I really like to test new stitches using cotton yarn and then I just make a dish cloth. So usually that means I start with a chain of somewhere around 30. All right, so what you're going to do to make the Suzette stitch is you are going to grab a crochet hook. I am using an I9 crochet hook, which is a five and a half millimeter hook and some worsted weight yarn. Now, if you're like me and you would like to make something that's useful as you're swatching, grab some cotton yarn. I'm using um, Hobby Lobby. I love this cotton in the shade Serene Spa, which happens to match my fingernails. And I am going to start by making an odd number chain. Now to make the dishcloth that you just saw and the one that is um, in the blog post, you are going to start with a chain of 31, but for sake of time, I am going to start with a chain of 11. All right, so here's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, and 11. Okay, so I have my chain. As you can see, I've got the front of my chain, and then on the back, we have this nub. You can see those nubs popping out the back. I like to insert my hook under the nub so that this is on the bottom of my finished work. Um, you can see that both sides of my project look, ni oh, there's the end. look nice and finished. So I don't have um, a, a raw edge, basically. So if you work into the back nub, you'll have a really neat bottom edge. All right, so the first thing we're going to do is we're going to single crochet in the second chain and in each chain across. All right, so I'm going to skip the first chain from the hook and I'm going to single crochet into the first chain. And then I'm going to single crochet, not the first chain, sorry, I single crocheted into the second chain. But I'm going to single, ch single crochet into each chain stitch across. Now I started with a chain of 11, which means that my first row should have 10 single crochet stitches because I started in the second chain, not the first chain. All right, so let's see what we've got. Let's make sure we have our 10 stitches. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and 10. Okay. So now, after you have your first row of single crochet done, you're going to chain one and turn your work. Okay, so I've done that. Now, a lot of times after you chain, you'll skip the first stitch and work into the second one because your chains will count as a stitch. In this stitch pattern, we are not going to count the chains as a stitch, so we are always gonna work into that first stitch. So in this case, we're going to make a half double crochet. So I'm going to work a half double crochet into that first stitch. And then I'm going to skip the next stitch. And into the stitch after that, I'm going to work a single crochet and a double crochet. So I'm gonna skip the next stitch. So I made my half double crochet, I'm gonna skip the next stitch. And then I'm going to single crochet and double crochet into the stitch after that. So I'll insert my hook and make a single crochet. And now I'm going to make my double crochet. All right, so I single crocheted and double crocheted all in the same stitch. I'm gonna skip the stitch right after that. And in the stitch after that, I'm going to do the same thing. I'm gonna work a single crochet and a double crochet. So I'll single crochet. And now I'm going to double crochet. And we did that all in the same stitch. I'm gonna skip the stitch after that and I'm gonna work a single crochet and a double crochet into the stitch after that. So here is a single crochet. And now I'm going to double crochet into that same stitch. I'm gonna skip the stitch after that 
so I have three stitches left, so I'll skip the next stitch and then into the next to the last stitch, I'll make my single crochet and my double crochet. And then I have one stitch left and I'm gonna work a half double crochet into the last stitch. So that is my first row of the Suzette stitch. So let's chain one and turn our work. And we're gonna work it the exact same way. We're gonna work a half double crochet into that first stitch. We're gonna skip the stitch after that and into this next stitch, we're gonna work a single crochet and a double crochet. So here's our single crochet. And now we're gonna work a double crochet into that same stitch. And then we're gonna skip this next stitch. And then we're gonna work a single crochet and a double crochet. We're gonna skip the next stitch and we'll work a single crochet and a double crochet. We're gonna skip the next stitch and then the stitch after that, we'll make a single crochet and a double crochet. And then we're gonna work a half double crochet into the very last stitch. All right, so that is what you should have so far. <coughs> and you're gonna work the pattern the same way no matter how many chains you start with. So now let's chain one and work another row. So we'll work a half double crochet into that first stitch. We're going to skip the stitch after that. And then in the next stitch, we're gonna work a single crochet and a double crochet. We're gonna skip the stitch after that, and then we're gonna make a single crochet. And a double crochet. We're gonna skip the next stitch, and then the stitch after that, we'll make a single crochet and a double crochet. We're gonna skip the next stitch, and then the stitch after that will make a single crochet and a double crochet. And then we have one stitch left, so we're just gonna work a half double crochet into that last stitch. And the further you go, the more you should see, <coughs> excuse me. So the further you go, the more you should see your stitches start to look like this and they have a great texture. Um, now, if you use a big enough hook, if you use a really tiny hook, this would be a very dense stitch, but when you use the right size hook, it's going to be a very flexible fabric. So it's perfect for dishcloths. I think it would make a beautiful scarf, um, a beautiful blanket. There's so many options. So I hope you have a great day. Let me know if you have any questions and I will do my best to answer them and I will talk to you soon.